All right, guys, just back here with another video. So I don't know if you've been checking in on Jugmeet Singh lately, but he seems to have this weird obsession with thinking that he's the guy who's going to you know, protect women's rights. He's been going on X or formerly known as Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And he's been ranting about this, making posts almost every single day for about a week. Like, what's his obsession with this? So I got to I got to just show you a couple things. And again, I'm just going to show you maybe two posts that I replied to, but there's like dozens of them that he's posted over the last couple of weeks. Seems to me like it's just a desperate attempt to you know, pretend that he's a, a man who's going to, he's here for the ladies and he's trying to get their votes because they know that he knows that they're leaving Justin Trudeau. But unfortunately for him, they're leaving Trudeau for Pierre Polyev, not Jagmeet Singh. So this is his way to say, no, look, I'm here, ladies, I'll help. It's all a bunch of nonsense, but let's have a look here. Canadians have the right to choose. Really? Do, does the left actually still believe that? Because during the pandemic, they didn't give a shit about anyone's choices, did they? Well, that's interesting. But access to that right is dwindling. Our motion calls for an immediate expansion of services. I need your help to put on the pressure. Then there's a little bit of a video here. Let's see. So it's about a minute and 24 seconds. I know that's long to listen to this clown talk, but let's just give it a shot and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. But abortion rights. I know. But I believe it's everyone's responsibility to defend a right to choose, not just those who can get pregnant. In Canada, we have the right, but access to that right is very different. In the entire province of Alberta, there are only nine abortion clinics. Now, the Liberals and Justin Trudeau promised to expand access to the right to choose. They said all the right things, but they didn't do the right thing. Under the Liberals in New Brunswick, the last abortion clinic shut down, had to shut down because of a lack of funding. In fact, anti-choice establishments are thriving. They're also known as crisis pregnancy centers. In some provinces, there's more of those centers than there are abortion clinics. That's why we're tabling our motion, demanding an immediate expansion to access to the right to choose. We believe no matter where you live in our country, you should be able to access abortion safely and accessibly. There is a serious threat to accessing abortion services from the conservatives who want to cut health care. On top of that, the extreme right wing and the anti-choice folks are calling the shots in that party. Who would they even choose as their health minister if given a chance? Or we can still turn things around. It's your life, your body, your choice. Wow, he really harped in on the your body, your choice. But again, let's go back to the pandemic. And this clown, just like Justin Trudeau and all of their lackeys, were saying something much different, weren't they? See, the, the left, that they don't understand how badly they've compromised their own position on pro-choice. They're not pro-choice. They're pro-abortion. But it's weird that they won't say that. They say pro-choice, pro-choice, but pro, they're not pro-choice. They don't even want people to be allowed to speak their own opinion in this damn country. Like, what are they talking about? But also, like, what's the obsession with it? With this, like, is he just desperate? Does he actually believe the crap that's coming out of his mouth? He left his phone number there too, by the way. I'm not encouraging anyone to say anything to him. I just think that's he's probably gotten some pretty interesting texts. Uh, I, I sure as hell won't be texting him because even if I did, he wouldn't listen to me anyway. He would just call me some far-right extremist because I would just point out the fact that you don't actually believe in pro-choice, Jugmeet. You're just pro-abortion. Big difference. They won't say one, but they'll say the other. Also, another question I do have for you guys. So, I'm pretty sure, and I've even confirmed this with women in my life that I know, that they actually have the same amount of legal rights as a man does. So, how are women's rights being attacked in any way here? Can someone explain that to me? Because I haven't heard a good answer yet. And I've even talked to far left people about this. And even they're like, yeah, I don't get that either. Even they don't understand. And they, they, those people eat up everything that Jugmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau have said for the last, you know, depending on which one you're talking about, for, for the last two or nine years. But even they don't believe it. I'm going to show you one more post here and then... Uh, I'm going to stop the uh, ear torture because I know that Jugmeet Singh's voice is just, I mean, all these left, they, they all have this certain like whininess to their voice. It's really annoying. But here's another post. Join me in ensuring everyone has abortion access no matter where they live. 
And like he just kept going and going and going and going. Like the guy's so desperate to get votes. But I'm sure it's working. Let's have a look. Because I know there was a poll released yesterday. Yeah, Jugmeet Singh's in, oh, third place. About 18% of the vote. Pretty much where he's been for the last, well, forever. So what's next, Jugmeet? This made up bullshit that you're saying isn't going to work. So what are you going to make up next? You're going to join forces with Justin Trudeau to create a UBI program? Universal basic income for those who are unfamiliar with that? What's next? A scandal you guys are going to make up? You're going to tell everyone that Pierre Polyev's a Nazi just like they're doing to a certain president down in the United States? You're just going to copy the Democrats? Or what? Let me know. But also let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help grow my channel. And I appreciate every single one of you who does. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.